they said, I'm gonna turn you into a linebacker. So ever since then, I believe them and uh, we've been riding along with it. Do you feel like a linebacker now? Yeah, now I feel like a linebacker, yeah. When I tell people I play linebacker, they'd be like, you do? I'd be like, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a focus on, on pass coverage, especially this camp. How, how have you developed in that area? Uh, I've been working a lot with uh, Mike, uh, with my pass coverage, and Wink, and CJ, and all them guys, and Eric in the back, and TJ. Um, just trying to pick up on certain things with, with the, in, the, in the cloud drop with one releasing inside, um, kind of like settling in my drop. So just like little stuff like that, I got starting to read, trying to read routes and figure out uh, things like that, just working on little stuff like that. What was the biggest thing that you had to learn in terms of playing linebacker, would you say? Uh, I think I'll probably say, I'll probably say it's probably, probably the pass, probably the pass knowing like when it's boot, when it's the time to get out, turn, open and run. And um, things like that, or probably like seeing a puller, knowing I gotta react to that fast. Little things like that that I'm starting to pick up on a little faster now. Go back to that first camp here and being undrafted, and the idea. What like when did it hit you that I can make this team? Uh, I think when we told him, he was like, I can turn you into a linebacker. So right then and there, he's trying to build confidence. I think that's what I was, I've been lacking uh, is confidence in myself and playing. So that's what Wink and Mike is trying to do, and they're doing a great job of that, is just building confidence in me, knowing that I can play, and me just playing fast. That's really about it. Patrick, do you have a clarity on the new helmet rule? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think it's great. I think it's good. Um, what I what I don't want it to affect us is we don't want to play slow. We're still going to play fast and physical. That's how we that's how we've been trained, and uh, I think that's how we're going to play. But uh, it's a rule that's in place, and we're going to try to obey by the rule, follow the rule. Um, but we're still going to play fast and physical. So it hasn't changed, do you think, the unit's philosophy on, on tackling? Uh, I think it's changed. It's probably just a strike zone. Probably just got to aim a little bit lower, uh, not too high, and uh, just try to keep your head up. You've been playing next to CJ Mosley for a couple years now. How is he different this year than in past years? If, if uh, well. CJ's been... Uh, his reads has been way way better. Um, his communication um, has been way better this year. Um, and now we're starting to get into a rhythm, into a flow. Um, with E-Dub behind us, E-Dub talking, CJ talking, everybody's communicating. Uh, we're just playing faster. His communication has been great. When you say the communication has been better, more vocal more or vocal. just? More vocal. Everybody's, everybody's talking. Everybody's talking. Everybody's into it. And everybody's knowing when the, when the tight end move, we could go to another play with just that fast. And, and CJ is checking the play that fast. And uh, it's been great. Does that have to do anything with, with the Wink being the defensive coordinator now, you think? Uh, a little bit with that, yeah. A little Wink opening up the playbook a little bit, letting us fly around and just uh, play ball. I, I'm sure you've tackled some tough running backs, but where does Alex Collins rank up there? What does he do differently? He's more shifty, so you gotta you got to run your feet when, you, when Alex can't really try to break down because he will make a move and cut on you. So you want to just come inside out to the ball, as we've been taught, and just make a play on it. Patrick.